What's up everyone, Kawaiku here, here to react to episode 8 of the time I got reincarnated as a slime season 2. Last episode we left off, we continue the clash between Hinata and Rimuru. We see Hinata strike Rimuru with her dead rainbow, but an unexpected thing happened because Rimuru transformed into this amalgamation this like chimera of like he had like ranga's head and like Vel parts of veldora and a bunch of other shit um yeah basically this chimera amalgamation monster thing and it was really it was pretty fucking cool however hinata wasn't phased at all by that in fact she pulls out this disintegration spell and basically disintegrates Rimuru. Or so she thinks, because as it turns out, during, before Rimuru supposedly got disintegrated, he made a copy of himself, and so he was able to sur basically survive, and so the, the amalgamation that we saw being disintegrated was just a part of Rimuru, and as we all know, Rimuru can just do that. He can make copies of himself and basically live on. He can't kill Rimuru off in that way. Um, and after that whole encounter with Hinata, Rimuru eventually does come back to the city where he discovers that it's basically destroyed. It is all in ruins. We saw all of those dead goblin citizens. Um, apparently Hakuro is in the hospital. Still no word of what happened to Gobzo and Sheena, in a, sorry, of fucking Shion and all of that. And, and we also saw the rage in Rimuru's eyes, where it, he was this close to killing Miulan, um, but he didn't. He managed to calm down. Um, so, yeah. Pretty much, Rimuru, the, epi the last episode was all about Rimuru uh, surviving his encounter with Hinata and discovering the aftermath. What exactly the kingdom of Falamuth did his city. Yeah, other than that, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, here we go. Episode 8 of The Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime Season 2. Ah, uh, she literally stole her heart, huh? And the kingdom of Falamuth. Yeah, obviously, uh, she should still be punished in some way, even though, even though this isn't exactly her, f she has no choice. Here's what I find crazy about this whole situation. Clayman wants to wage war on both Rimuru and the King of Falamuth. 
But, however, at the same time, doesn't the Kingdom of Falamuth also want to wage war on Rimuru? So my question now is, is the King of Falmouth aware of Clayman's actions? I don't think so, right? Oh, Gobta. I forgot to mention this last episode, but Milan, in a way, kind of has his. <laughs> the Great Sage literally saved Milan from Rimuru's wrath during the scene where he discovers the carnage in the village. Because we, you saw how. You guys saw how pissed he got. He was about to unleash wrath on Milan if not for the Great Sage. Reminding Rimuru that the barrier alone couldn't have caused all this. Oh shit. Nice to see these two are all 100% okay now. What? What is it? No way! Oh, he did sacrifice himself. Oh, no. It's always that the fucking child. Oh my fucking god. It's always some stray child that shouldn't even be there in the first place. Come on. <sighs> what was that? Oh my fucking god, I cannot believe this. A single goblin child caused the death of Shion. One of the strongest female protagonists in this series. This fucking bullshit. She should have just let that child die. <sighs> oh, there's no way they're gonna kill her off, right? No. There's no way she's permanently killed off, right? Hey, Rimu can somehow bring her back to life?
Oh, those three. No. Fucking serious. Oh my god, no, don't say that. Is this serious? No. Wait, did they just did they just show up just so they can tell him that? If it's based on facts, is it is it still considered a fairy tale? <laughs> that's kind of I feel like that's kind of contradictory. You know, I feel like this is. I feel like this has to be just confirmation that Xion will be brought back to life, right? Otherwise, if there was zero chance, like if there, like if Rewa didn't beat the odds, and there was really no point in bringing it up, right? Jaeger? Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I completely forgot her name is Aaron. There's no way this is just a fairy tale. If this is all fake, then there would be no point of this being in the story. Yo, that's pretty rad. Wait a minute. The hair. She became a demon lord. Oh, okay. So, that's, that's Milam's involvement in the story, huh? That's Milam's involvement in this arc, huh?
Hmm. Wow, Pi. Hey, three percent is not bad at all. I mean, for gotcha games, that's like that's more than the probability of an SSR. Good shit. The trio have always had, had Rimuru's back. Ever since season one. Okay. Ten thousand. Oh, look at all those CGI men. He's got a plan. Oh! Ah! Ah! Yo! Wait, no, that is there. Wait. Wait.
So that's all the punishment she gets? That's her punishment? Is that the ex extent of her consequences? Oh my... So causing the deaths of... Being complacent and the deaths of dozens of characters mean nothing to you? course what <laughs> What? This is gonna be a demon king. I guess that, that's what that story entails, huh? All right, overall. Uh, I guess it's just, I guess this episode mostly just sets up for basically Milam's backstory and the resurrection of Xion. Uh, okay. Couple things I want to say. First of all, well, I am, I guess, glad that Shion is eventually going to be resurrected. I'm still, I, I, I still place the blame on that singular goblin child. I mean, honestly, this is just the way. Xion got killed off. It's such a cheap... It's such a cheap trope. Like, a, a cliche anime trope caused the death of a well-beloved character. And that, just, that just still doesn't sit right with me. Because in a lot of anime, there's this... It's always this one singular child that's in danger, that's, fa that's minutes away from death, that's in front of, like, a stampede or a fucking wave or a tsunami or whatever and some other character most of the time a protagonist character has to come in and swoop them and put themselves in danger just so they can save this one singular child that has no reason of being there in the first fucking place <sighs> you see that a lot in anime and for that and for something like that it caused the death of a, such a likable character like Shion this doesn't sit, sit right with me. Even if she gets resurrected later on. Speaking of the resurrection, I guess 
I guess Rimuru and the author feels that, you know, oh, be, oh because the goblin citizens and Xion, oh, since they're going to be resurrected anyways, oh, I guess that, that, that's one of the reasons why Miulan is absolved of punishment. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I understand that she really has no choice in the matter. I understand that she's doing this basically against her will. And that Clayman is really the one that's pulling all the strings. And Milan didn't directly kill all the, the goblins and stuff. I mean, but still, it's... I don't know. To be honest, I, I would have... I thought I would... I would have found it a lot more surprising and... To be honest, I kind of want to, I kind of prefer if Rimuru, Rimuru actually killed her. Like, that would be quite a shocking twist. Uh, but no, that, 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 it didn't appear, it didn't turn out that way. <sighs> but I feel like with the way this series is going, this is pretty much the extent of Yulon's atonement. I hope I'm proven wrong, but that's certainly how how it seems like it's going. In that case, I just don't think it's enough. I mean, because... Well, I mean, at least we'll get to see Rimuru chop up the soldiers from Falmouth, right? At least we get to see Rimuru beating the shit out of... Whooping some Falmouth ass, right? Being the shit out of the Falmouth king, right? That's what's gonna happen, right? Because that Rimuru plans on having Yom be the new kingdom of Falmouth. Well, I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, again, overall, uh, another episode of. Time I got reincarnated as a slime where I have mixed feelings on, but you know what? I'm just gonna continue watching, see where it goes. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'm Grady, subscribe my channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys next time.